working on my Chevy Cobalt SS and today I'm going to be fixing the sunroof that's leaking. I'm going to remove the headliner completely to see if there's any leaks. On this drain right here when I sprayed it, it didn't spray out the bottom. So on the back ones it goes through the trunk and then comes out right about here and then out the bottom for the back ones on each side. And then the front ones, it goes down and drains out the bottom of the car right over there. It didn't drain out the bottom on, on this one right here. So because I don't want to put the new carpet in and then have to uh, get it wet and pull it back out and do all that, I'm just going to remove the headliner completely, the, all the trim panels, and make sure there isn't no, make sure that all the hoses aren't cracked or broken. So let me do that real quick. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the A-pillar trim panels. So this one right over here is already missing the screw. So this should just pull right off. And it does. And this is the drain tube that runs up to the sunroof. Next, I'm gonna remove the sun visor, which takes a T20. Where the sun visor clips in. And this takes a 930 seconds. I think it's a seven millimeter as well. I just don't have a seven millimeter with me. And these do not take much. Uh, you know. Next, I have to remove the seat belt um, post right here in order to remove this trim panel. And this takes a T50. Great thing about this car is a lot of the stuff that I take apart, it really feels like it's the first time it's been taken apart. Now I gotta remove this push pin right here because this is connected to this uh, side quarter panel trim panel. And that's just a push, push pin. Put that right back in there.
and this uh, clothing hanger hook takes the same small T20 Torx bit that the sun visors do. Last thing I'm going to remove is the sun visor hook. Alright, so the last thing actually holding it up is this little push pin right here. And you want to make sure you have a clean trim tool because this is going to go directly on your headliner. Same thing on the other side, just kind of put your finger in there and kind of guide it along, pulling it out gently so you don't, pulling out gently so you don't uh, bend it. There is wiring for the sunroof and the mirror. On this one, this little tab pulls up. And then it just pulls out. So this tab right here pulls up and then this part pulls out. Now the headliner is ready to take out and I have the passenger seat removed to take it out the passenger side. Is go through and make sure every one of these is free and clear by spraying compressed air down there and watching it come out the back or the side. And I'm gonna go through each one of them and uh, and do that. These hoses actually look in really good shape, so I'm definitely hopeful that none of them are uh, messed up. This gives me a perfect opportunity to really detail this car in the inside because it was sitting for uh, such a long time when uh, the engine was blown. But I just wanna make sure that when I put the new carpet in, that the smell is absolutely 100% gone. Next, I'm gonna remove the factory sub. Take the 10 millimeter deep socket.
All right, there's other drain for the sunroof. And as you can see, that one's been crunched by the subwoofer. So that's another reason why this might have been backing up. Hmm. That definitely needs to be replaced. For sure. Anyway, let me vacuum all this stuff out. I need to remove the factory jack spare tire and then get all the padding off down there. I'm removing the back deck trim panel. So first you have to remove the back seat headrests. Which you pull up that and there's um, two 13 millimeter bolts here and two 13 millimeter bolts over on this side. And then there's two push pins. One on each side. And then there's two clip jacks inside the trunk. Okay, now there should just be two clips in the back. It looks like one's already loose. Alright, there is one clip up there. And then another clip right here, right there. Okay, after I took out the Pioneer sub, I could tell that this right here was crushed by it, and this is probably was leaking. So, I'm going to tape a piece of, um, of the Weed Whacker line to the end of that, just so I can have the path it goes and pull it through. Connect the hose. Remove the clips. That clip over there has already been busted. Oh, that's one of those tape on ones, one of the T ones. Let me tape a piece of weed whacker line to the end of this. and I'll pull it through. All right, when I started pulling it through, here's the part that got uh, pinched in between the sub. And then this part was all full of dirt. And this part just came right off. 
it's barely holding on so i think this was even holding on i think this was just i think this wasn't even holding on i think it was just straight up leaking because when i pulled it it just came right off out through that tube so i think this part's pretty good because you can no longer find i checked the dealership they no longer sell the sunroof drain tubes and this part of the original drain tube is still good what i did is i went to the wrecking yard and i got this drain tube from a chevy hhr which is shaped differently it has the same drain spout that goes out the side of the car but they're all shaped differently to go through the shape of the car so what i'm going to do is pull this hose off here put a little super glue on there to seal it to the original tube put some heat shrink around it and uh and call it good then i'm going to spray some water over the top of the car really make sure that there's no leaks in it Let that dry for a few minutes, then thread it back through the car. Now I'm going to tape I'm going to tape this end that goes to the sunroof back to the uh, weed whacker string just to get it through the all the turns of the the inner um, quarter panel well and above the where the speakers go put a little tape on there and then just pull it through the other side uh. all right now i'm going to plug this back into the drain tube and you can see it's in the right spot but I do got to push it down a little bit so right about there right about there so all the trim fits in correctly and then measure this so it comes out right into this without being crushed by the 
sub. There we go. So that drain tube is hooked up correctly. Plug this drain tube back in after it's been vacuumed and cleaned. And then refasten it. That drain tube is all hooked up. The driver's side is, the driver's side rear, and the passenger side rear. So now I'm going to turn on the hose, drench the whole thing with water, and see if I can find any leaks. Ran water over for about five minutes, especially concentrating on the sunroof area, and there were no visible leaks, nothing intruded into the passenger or trunk area. It's meant to rain in a couple days, and then in a couple days, it's meant to rain for a few days straight as well. So, I think what I'm going to do is leave it outside in the rain just to absolutely make sure there isn't no leaks in the sunroof or anywhere else before I put the entire interior back in. I might replace the seal on the sunroof just to be safe, especially while I have the entire interior out. And then after I make sure there's no leaks, it shouldn't take but uh, a few hours to put the entire interior back in. If you like this content, please like and subscribe.